Hello everybody on YouTube, welcome back to Richmond. So, a little bit of a video this evening. If we just pan the camera round this way and tilt downwards, you'll see, if we zoom in, this little bad boy on the uh, cutting mat next to the point motor. What is it? I hear you cry. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this is a new product, or relatively new product that I've found on the internet. And some of you, in fact most of you, should recognise this. We'll put it that way. That, which is a Pico PL13, I believe it is, um, accessory switch. So that, um, you'll stick your, let's, uh, let's get in camera, your point motor through that, uh, the pin through that. And every time you fire your, your point, uh, your point motor, um, it flicks the accessory switch and uh, you can control your frog polarity and uh, your route switching, uh, route setting uh, on your control panel with it. The only bad thing with this is I've heard some reports about these uh, PL13s not lasting particularly long and they are prone to failure as the contacts uh, tarnish over time and also you have to glue it to the underneath of the point where this one fits quite snugly but over time it will work loose so you have to glue it with some contact adhesive uh, onto the point motor so let's spin that off and uh, concentrate on this uh, device so I found this on eBay uh, a couple of weeks ago <coughs> it's a 3D printed uh, clip that holds a small micro switch which is connected and uh, fixed by two screws. These are, are quite loose at me, so the, the switch can slide backwards and forwards. Bit of um, adjustment. Now, I haven't test fitted this yet, so let's just try and see how it works. So, we'll gently bend these out because with it being 3D printed, it's probably going to be quite fragile. And then it just clips over the sides of the point motor. Uh, well it would do if, it, uh, if the point motor was um, of the right size. I'm sure it'll go, go down a little bit more with a bit of fettling. Um, so it should just, just clip over um, the, on the point motor there like that. And then a little bit more persuasion, a bit of cleaning up of the 3D print. So let's just take it off again because that's not right. I say first time I've done this, so uh, bear with me. So it's quite a difficult. There we go. So what it does is, as the tie bar, as the pin moves, as it's fixed into the point, it will flick the micro switch, and you've got a little bit of adjustment in the uh, the switch housing here, just to account for where the, the tie bar sits so that will flick over and flick back flick over and flick back so I'm assuming you can have a bit of adjustment in the arm and the lever just bend it over a bit cut it down whatever so that's quite a good idea I think um, and it wasn't that expensive uh, it was like £10 for a pack of 10 switches so in the bag or in the box rather get a pack of the clips and three of the clips already come with the micro switches fitted just to show you how they work and then you also get a pack of micro switches and screws so you don't have to fight around for the correct uh, type of micro switch now we're showing the back of the micro switch here there are three solder terminals so just a quick uh, blob of solder on there and then a quick attachment of wire and solder iron and Bob's your uncle. And this is designed, like I say, to hang underneath the point motor, like that, where it's fitted to a point. And if I have a point somewhere, which I do, I will try and just fit this point motor to the point. And then you can see of how it all works so let's just clip everything together 
So here we go. So we just temporarily fitted the uh, this point to this point. So as it throws the point over, it'll push the arm of the switch down. So a little bit of movement in the switch arm, um, and you can push the micro switch in a bit, just a bit more positive contact, and then you know just. It just takes a little bit of effect and just to get it right. And uh, it's quite a good idea, I think. It's uh, certainly le a lot less messing around than uh, fitting these uh, Pico ones, gluing them on. Just a little bit of a push, just to, let's take that off, just to seat it correctly on the point. Just like that. So that, that's it seated correctly. And then, there you go nice positive bit of action there so <coughs> it's quite a good idea I've got 10 of these like I say in the, in the, the pack that came a couple of days ago so we're going to test fit those um, to a couple of points at some point no pun intended and we'll see uh, how we get on with them uh, as we are imminently going to be building the control panel so we need some form of um, positive uh, de uh, detection for the points um, which will then light up um, a corresponding LED on the control panel. So I hope you uh, you found this interesting, and uh, forgive my rambling. But uh, there you go. It's a nice little product. It was relatively cheap. I think it was about twelve pound for um, for all these, which I thought was a damn good price. Not very expensive at all. And it's a good little, uh, good little bit of kit there. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you don't subscribe to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon. And uh, you know, give me some likes. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. See you later.